Hi, kiddos. Okay, what we're going to do today is something really fun. We're taking the fun of Halloween and the fun of problem solving and critical thinking and haunted houses, and we're putting it together with text structure. So what you're going to do today is you have a mission, okay? It says, look out. A witch, a witch wants to brew your whole class for her Halloween potion. In order to escape, you must use your skills with text structures to convince her to let you go. Answer the questions at each level and be sure to record each answer. Once all levels are complete, be retrieve the completion code to break out and save the day. You must hurry and escape before you are thrown into the witch, witch's cauldron. Okay. So you're going to see this. This is the link you're going to click on in your agenda. Then you're going to hit next. What you're going to see is a puzzle. Now, in order to answer the puzzle, you have to answer some questions about text structure. That's where these come into play. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have these open. Hey, there's my box. I was wondering where my little face was. <laughs> I knew it was supposed to be there somewhere. What you're going to want to do is want to have the escape room open and then have these task cards open. Okay, so what you're going to do is you'll see that this slide is level one. Then we have a level two, level three, level four, level five. What you're going to do is you're going to read the paragraph and you're going to choose which text structure best matches the paragraph. Then if you slide over, what you're going to notice is this little box where it says question one. So this is question one. See where it says Q1, Q1, then scoot over and you've got, oops, Q2, Q3, Q4. Okay, so question one, question two, question three, question four. In this box, let's say that I picked A. I haven't even read it. I'm not saying that's the right answer. Okay, I'm just saying. Let's say I pick A. Okay, I'm going to fill all of these in with the letters that I chose for their answer. Once I have my letters, then I'm going to use my puzzle. And so where it says, okay, question one, I chose A. A, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so A must equal nine. Does that make sense? And so then you'll type in all the numbers that you've got. So I'll just go ahead and do B is one, two, three, four, five. Five, C is seven, and D is six, seven, eight. Okay, so then I would go, okay, so this must be my code, nine, five, seven, eight. And I'm gonna type it right here, nine, five, seven, eight. And I'm gonna try to go next, but oh, it won't let me go. If it doesn't let me go, it's because either one of two things has happened. You didn't solve the puzzle correctly or one of your answers here is wrong. So you have to have all four of your answers be correct before it's going to let you move on, okay? So that's what you're going to do for each level. So you'll go here, finish the puzzle, boom, go to level two, start over again, answer the questions, put the A, B, C, or D, then figure out what number each letter equals, do it for three, do it for four, do it for five. Then at the very end, after you've gotten through all five levels, you're going to get a code. And I want you to type that code right here. And that's what I'm going to look for to make sure you've done this. Okay. This is how I know that you completed the escape room. You're going to get stuck along the way. That is okay. Ask mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, brother, sister, anybody who's at home, who's working with you for help. That's totally fine. Okay. You just want to make sure that you're getting all of your questions correct. That's going to help you. So use any anchor chart you have on Google Classroom to help you if you need it. Go back and watch my models. I've done three different models at this point over text structure. Um, you have a model for each type of text structure. You have last week's model of a big review, and then you have this week's model, which is Halloween themed. Um, and so go find a model to watch if you need to, and then work through it like that. But basically what you're doing, you know, when you get your code, you have to figure out what if it's B, what number should I type in? So like that for here, I'm just adding up the dice, but the puzzles are going to get harder and harder and harder as you go. Okay. So take your time with it, have lots of fun with it. Um, and let me know if you guys have any questions.